Okay guys, today uh, I'm going to show you the bounder windows. I've got some fog. Uh, it's caused by uh, water getting in between the panes. I meant to do a full video on this and just really haven't got the time to do it. But I do uh, have time to show you how I'm putting together. Once you separate the glass, some of the glass is cleanable, some is not. Um, it's etched and so you can't clean it. In this case, uh, this is one pane is good. This is the front window. The glass has been cleaned. It's cleaned very, very well. And I'm going to show you how I put it together. Originally, it had this aluminum frame with a, a desiccant or a silica gel to uh, pull out the humidity. Um, it's, it was obvious separating the frames were leaking. I mean, you could separate them by hand. Um, I'm not using the exact process. I'm just using uh, this is uh, this is vinyl foam weather stripping. It's a quarter inch wide, one inch inch thick. And uh, let me just show you how I'm going to apply this. Now, this won't seal it together. All this actually does is provides a spacer and it actually creates a nice line when you actually do seal it. And what I'm using to seal it is I'm just using a uh, clear silicone. Um, and I figure, you know what, if it leaks, even in five years, I'm fine. Um, the glass is um, tempered. Trying to replace this stuff is pretty ridiculous. I'm gonna inset this one quarter inch. This is a quarter inch wide. And I'm just going to estimate it. I'm not actually going to do it exactly. I'm just estimating this. Once you put it in the frame, um, you won't hardly notice it at all anyways. So this, uh, what is left here, is where I'm going to put the sealant. And I'll show you how I come around these curves here. It's got a paper backing. This is only sticky on one side. And again, I'm only using this paper to provide a spacer. And as you can tell, I'm doing this on a budget, right? I mean, I could go out and buy this glass, but to try to buy it the way that it is right now, um, to replace this piece of glass would be three, four hundred dollars. So I've got to get some clear windows, uh, but I cannot pay uh, that kind of ridiculous sums. No, we so, will not. Will not. So. This paper, just it's not sticky over here, but the paper, I take the paper off because for these curves. And like I said, when we seal this window, this produces a really nice edge on the inside of the glass. Okay. I, I, I've spent a lot of time cleaning it, so I know the glass is clean on this side. And, um, you know, I thought about just using regular glass, but the problem with regular glass is if it shatters, it will cut you. Um, so what I have on the other side, and I'll show you here in just a second, is I have a piece of acrylic. It's, um, I'm sorry, I don't have the dimensions. I'll put the dimensions in the, um, it's, it's thicker than quarter, uh, I'm sorry, it's thicker than an eighth of an inch. And I actually have already done one of these windows, the uh, driver's side window. Um, neat thing about this foam is that it does not, um, uh, it doesn't leak air through this way. It doesn't leak any kind. So when you're putting the caulk in there, if you get a bubble, you actually have to dig the bubble, bubble out. So we'll go ahead and I'll just pull this paper off. I'm about ready to sandwich these windows together. And I'm not putting any kind of sealer in there. I'm just using an air gap. <laughs> okay, now, um, I still have the plastic. And I pre-cut this plastic sheet um, to match the glass perfectly. And uh, so what I'll do now, and I won't show you this on camera, but I'll pull off the one acrylic sheet, and then what I'm gonna do is in this gap here, I'm gonna, uh, out of a tube, I'll squeeze clear acrylic. And you could use any color you wanted, gray or whatever. I just happen to have a bunch of clear. So there's a slight gap in there. Uh, I tape these around, and then I pull the tape off the gap when I go across it, and then I put the tape back on to hold it until it's sealed. And then it takes about 24 hours to dry, but then I've got a, uh, I've got a double sealed pane. Uh, as you can see, I paid $31 for that piece of plexiglass. I did have to cut the corners myself. 
but this is a good way to uh, get your windows going and not spend a ton of money. Uh, just a short video, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching.